guys. I wanted to show you something a little bit different this time. It's going to be just as interesting as my other videos. That might be good or bad, I suppose, depending if which video you have viewed. Uh, but this isn't going to, going to be my typical vapor blasting video or building glass crushers or anything like that. I know that gets old after a while. Uh, so I like to keep things random because there's so many interesting things in the world and I only know a few of these things like anyone else but what I do find interesting I like to pass along to you guys because I think you'll find them to be just as interesting now what's so interesting you're thinking about this video well I'm, I want to show you something that I think is you know gonna have you on on, on your edge of your seat what is that you're thinking well it's this exciting right What's even more exciting is, or twice as exciting actually, it's two of them. Now, you're thinking, okay, it's, it's a white rock. Yeah, it's a white rock, but not only is it a white rock, but this is a white river stone. It's a quartz river stone. And what makes this rock interesting, other than you can put them around your house or your driveway to decorate it, yeah, that's sort of interesting, I guess. What makes these interesting is these guys flash inside when you hit them together. I bet you didn't know that. If you did, that means... I don't know what that means, but it means something, I'm sure. Anyway, when you hit these together, they flash. Now, of course, you can't see them in a room like this because there's a lot of ambient light. But I can see it. I can see a subtle flash between the two rocks. A very small flash. And sometimes when you do it, you can see a very small yellow spark in there. <clears throat> but whenever you shut off the lights, get in a good darkened room, this becomes very, very obvious. And these are quartz, so they're translucent. That means they conduct white light. You can't see images through them, but you can see light. You hold it up to sunlight or just an incandescent bulb you can see light it'll start to show through the rock depending of course on how thick it is now when you do this being these conduct light that little spark and the flashes of the current side propagate throughout the rock to a certain degree on each side so the flash it actually lights up part of the rock around you know right around a radius around where the impact spots are at now now you're thinking, okay, what is going on with these rocks? Why are they flashing? Well, that's just, you might be thinking, well, that's just like you're hitting, hitting a piece of flint on a steel or something like that. Well, no. Flint would be uh, a friction reaction that is, you're shaving off a tiny piece of steel and it ignites from the friction of the impact. Now, that's not what's happening here. What's happening here is what's called piezoelectric effect. Now, when you strike these crystal faces together, you are putting mechanical stress across the crystal face. And quartz has the, the uh, interesting characteristic that whenever you place mechanical stress on the crystal, it releases electricity. And that's piezo effect. I'm sure you have seen this demonstrated uh, many times in your life, and this is not something that it's unusual. If you have a gas stove or a barbecue grill or even just a lighter or an aim flame that has the click type of ignition on it, then you have seen P's electric effect. And though what those do is they have like a trigger and it, it hammers a piece of Rochelle salt crystal, it's hooked to a conductor that in turn takes the high voltage from the crystal to the point of, of ignition. So, and another thing too, is these, these things work just the opposite. Quartz also has the characteristic of vibrating when you apply electricity to it. And you most likely have one of these devices in your house, uh, or are even wearing one, like a wristwatch, if it says quartz movement on it, or on the clock it says quartz, that is a quartz movement. They're extremely common now. Uh, quartz vibrates at a very specific frequency when you apply electricity across the face of the crystal. That vibration is harnessed, run through a processor, and displayed as a time. Think of it like a pendulum, but a pendulum on steroids. 
because it, it vibrates like a pendulum moves at a, a certain frequency uh, and, and so does the quartz. So it's basically the same effect uh, as a pendulum. But that's piezo effect in a nutshell and it's demonstrated at one of the most fundamental levels in these rocks. And who would have thought a rock that you might have in your driveway demonstrates that and actually creates light when it's smacked together. And you don't have to smack it together hard. You can even go like this and you'll see the sparking occurring inside. It's not as bright, but it still occurs. But when you go like that, you'll definitely see the yellow flashes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken the room and so you can see these flashes. Now I hope you find this interesting. I'm, I'm sure you will. I find this interesting. They used to sell these rocks in Edmund Scientific when I was a kid. That's when I first discovered uh, this principle. And they call, just called them flash rocks. And they said when you smack them together, this is what they do. So, you know, someone was playing with these rocks a long time ago before I discovered them. But I'm glad they did and passed it on to me. Now I get to pass it on to you. So let's get this room dark and, and show you what these things can do. Okay, that was, that was really pretty neat, I thought. Um, I mean, who would have thought that this, just this white river stone would have that effect? I mean, who, who takes rocks into a dark room and just smacks them together to see if they'll light up? I'm betting probably almost no one. And the people that do do that, I might not want to meet them anyway. But I'm glad someone found out. And I'm glad they did too, because then they passed that on to me, and I can pass it on to you. And hopefully, you you know tell a lot of other people about this and can see the video too, and you'll have a whole population of people smacking rocks in darkened rooms for their entertainment. But it is kind of a neat, you know, if anything, a party trick. You know, drunk people just love when you do uh, stupid things like that. So uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you know. Give me a thumbs up or share it. Consider subscribing to my channel as well uh, if you like this sort of thing. I'm going to try to keep it as varied and as um, random as I can. And as soon as I come up with an interesting subject, I will try to expand on it and make a video of it so you guys can, can take a look at it too. Okay, until next video, I will see you guys later.